Hello, everybody. Let me try and get this here. Are we live? Here we are. Okay. All right. You guys know the rules. As you come in, be sure and let me know you're there. Let me know how you're doing. I'm trying to get it where I can see comments here. Who all's here? Who else is here? I see some people have filtered in. I wish I didn't have to hold it with everything so far away. I can't hardly see it. I can't hardly reach it. <laughs> Who else is here? Who else is here? I see people there. Well, in, I'm down here working on a Mardi Gras centerpiece, the table decor, floral arrangement, whatever you want to call it. And I thought I'd go ahead and feel like I've not been live forever. I thought I'd go ahead and um, get starting, right? You guys can keep me company while I'm doing this. So. Hey, Joseph. <laughs> hey, Lily. How are you? Thank you guys for being here. All right, well, let's go ahead and get started. Um, I've got this base. Actually, this is a base that I ordered for Christmas, um, and I've, I've made designs with it. Um, it just comes like, like this, um, you know, some evergreen, uh, kind of inexpensive looking evergreen. So we'll dress that up. Um, and then it has this candle holder in it. And that's the same. And uh, I usually I'll go ahead and put it in here while I'm designing it, just so I can kind of visualize what, I, what I'm making. Um, but usually when I sell these, I don't include the candle. Um, and actually for this piece, I wouldn't use a white candle probably. I use, I would try and find a gold. And now's the time to do that. Hey, Mary, how are you? Um, but now's the time to, to do that, you know, with Christmas uh, decor going on sale. You know, I left my Hobby Lobby low and they things down to 66% off now. So now's the time to stock up on those things that you can use for all year long, um, like gold decor, silver, red, um, that kind of thing. But we're going to be working on Mardi Gras today. So, so how is everybody? Hey, love and glitter. How are you? you guys ready for Christmas? I feel a lot better than I actually even since this morning because I got everything mailed. I've got um, I've got everybody but one person and it's a tough person. Um, hang on, I forgot to get my tools here. Um, don't you guys think that men are hard to buy for? <laughs> I do. And it's a man I need to buy for. It. Not my husband, but um, but anyway, I, I have no idea. I'm kind of a lot I feel like I always get the same thing. Either. You guys feel like that? You ask them, it's like, oh, I don't need anything. But still, you, you want to buy stuff, right? Okay, just, I'm going to put some mesh around the base here. Like I said, we're, we're going to work toward disguising that um, 
evergreen that's there. They are sound okay. I know the other day it was super windy outside and we were having some sound issues. But let me know if you if you guys are having any trouble. Even if they give you a gift card, they never use it. That's exactly right. <laughs> Thank you, sir, for sharing, Joe. Thank you so much. Hey, Diane. Um, audio is going in and out again. I wish I knew what the deal is with that. Let me try something. Is that with everybody? Mary, do you have, is your audio going in? That might be, I'm not talking loud enough too. I don't know. But let me know. I need to get that fixed. Hey, Sky Lily, thank you for being here. And I don't know how many of these pieces of mesh that we're going to use. I'm just cutting off some. And then if I need more, I'll cut some more. This one's a little bit too small. I'm going to cut that and use it anyway, because we can probably put that someplace. But I've got another roll of that. Hey, Benita. Marilyn, yes, what? Tell me, yes, what? Is the audio going in and out for everybody? Hey, Mary. Marcy says hers is fine. Hey, Nancy, how are you? We're just getting started here. But Marilyn, let me know, yes, what? I don't know what you mean, yes. Good deal, Nancy. Did you stay dry with that all that rain? Hey, Pam. Oh, the sound? Okay, let me try something. But some people are saying it's okay. Some people are saying it's not. So let me try something. All right. Okay. So I'm just, I don't measure when I cut mesh, I usually don't measure. And um, I'm going to guess these are probably about 20 inches long and I'm just let it kind of roll up. I'm going to make some ruffles here. Is it better now? Okay. Mary says her, her sounds good too. So I don't know. It might be you guys on your end. If you might try coming out and come back here. Each got hammered. I hate you for that. Hey, Jazzy, Rosa, how are you guys? Thank you for being here. And I'm just going to start around here in the middle and then we'll kind of work out. And I'm just working, trying to adhere as much as the evergreen as I can. This. So who all's ready for Christmas now? Who all's not wrapped yet? <laughs> I wrapped the things that I mailed out that okay, Nancy her sounds okay, thank you, Nancy. Yeah, if you're sound, having problems with sound, you might try going in or going out and then logging back in. That might that might work. I wish there was a way I could test it here, but I can't. Or if I can, I don't know how. I'll put it that way. I don't have a mic on it, Nancy. I don't have a mic. It just was, you know, here out in front, I don't have a mic on me. 
Hey, Anna. Maybe like that. Now, my hair is about too short to get in my mic, even if I had one now, Nance. Nancy, I, I got a new hair lady. And mine is the right. And, you know, my old lady, you know how you can just go in there and just, you know, do the usual and they know what to do. Well, we're, we're learning each other. And uh, I explained what I wanted. And it was helpful when her interpretation was the opposite of what I wanted. And so we ended up having to cut it shorter. So, so oh, thank you. Thank you. It's a lot shorter than it normally is, Nancy. Hey, little sister. Nice to meet you. But thank you, Nancy. I appreciate you. Okay. I wanted to be sure to get some of that fancy down here on both sides. I think that's beautiful. I'm planning on putting something here. So I'm going to kind of leave this there. Probably put something down low. Let's see what I want to put. I'll put one of these down low. This is this is what I'm going to put here in the center. So I was just getting it to see. I don't want it to blend in, so I think we'll be good if I put one of these down here. Hey, Catherine. So how about you guys? How how are you doing for Christmas? Are you ready? I think I have it now. I still I noticed last night I still have some fall arrangement up on our um, entertainment center I've got to replace. Everything's all Christmas and I look up there and it's big along like like about this long probably about this long um all arrangement okay, I've got that on both sides both ends or well no I want one more side over here and I don't want to use this little bitty piece for that so I've got one more of those you do wrapping and cleaning I usually don't do any special cleaning. I, I'm on a schedule. I do Wednesdays, which is today, which I already did did what I needed today. But Wednesdays and um, Saturdays are my cleaning day. Try to place it out there so I don't have to be cleaning all the time. I do different sections. Okay. All right. So that's what I've got so far. I'm going to put a little bit more down here. I should, I should have probably got some more evergreens, other nicer greens. Green on this end down here. Uh, oops, I don't want this little piece sticking out because it's going to get caught on something. You guys, if you haven't worked with deco mesh before, it likes to stick on things, it likes to spray. And um, that's any, any mesh. Um, if it's nicer quality, of course, it may be less. But um, you always want to work toward taking measures to reduce right okay and I'll put this down here Thank you. 
Okay. All right. So I just put those on the ends there. So see, we're starting to cover up our cover up our um, greens. Now I'm going to go ahead and put our purple, purple piece in. I've got these really pretty purple magnolia. Um, Love and Glitter is wanting to know. Um, Miss the beginning is going to replace the working on. No, it's actually a centerpiece base. It's has a candle holder. You can see it has a candle holder and this is evergreen and fake evergreen that's attached to it already. Um, if you wanted it round, you could, you could use a, a small, um, you know, a small pine at least. That would be real easy to do. All right, I'm gonna. Like I said, I wanted one of these on either side here. And and again, if you're just tuning in, I was saying I would I would not use a white candle. I would have a gold candle. I don't have a gold candle, so I'm going to have to find out. It looks pretty dark there, so I'll probably need to put a little bit more sparkly you know, around that purple. It's really a deep purple. All right, let me get a red. Just taking a piece of pine and wrapping it around the base here. Fluff that out a little. Each one of these petals is wired, so you can pretty much put it however you want it. Which I like that. I mean, I'm going to turn it around so I can see. There we go. I'm just going to go directly opposite of that and put another one on here. I've never seen one of these before. I got it from a wholesaler. I've seen them off and on. Um, but I, I got it from one of my wholesalers. Um, you know, Joann's, our Joann's here in town, had some the evergreen shape like this, that all you'd have to do would be get a candle holder to put it in it. Or I did this for a piece on my on my porch. Um, I had a candle and I just took a piece of garland and wrapped around the base. And uh, and that worked really well. I'm really big into, I, I used to call it MacGyvering. <laughs> I don't know if that, a lot of people don't know what that is, but I call it MacGyvering. You get what, what you're finding. Usually there's a way to make it. And then I was going to over in there. My people my design group will tell you that. <laughs> okay, let me, same thing over here. These are really pretty. Okay. All right. So that's what we've got so far. What it looks like from the side. Looks like I need to one of them down just a little bit. Thank you, Vanita. Georgia agrees. Yes, I do that all the time. We were crafters, right? I'm just trying to make my own. Okay, I've got these bowl picks that I wanted to incorporate down. 
time to decide how much the remaining evergreen. I think I'll go for this one first. And really, I could probably just stick these in here like this, but I don't want to. I'm going to take them apart. Sections down. Place them a little bit more strategically that way. <laughs> Melissa, redneck, injuit, injuit. Oh, I can't say that word. Right. Let's see, I don't want to cut that apart. There's a will, there's a way for crafters. That's exactly right. Who all celebrates Mardi Gras? I've never been to Mardi Gras. Oh, my bucket list, though. My husband, he retired um, this year. So we've been going around traveling different places. And it's actually one of the, one of the things I told him. I said, well, I want to, I've been to New Orleans. I love New Orleans. But I was going to Mardi Gras. I like that. Actually, get another one here. I'm going to cut this up too so I can do them both at the same time. Oh, thank you. Thank you for that. Um, how much do I sell my picks for, and how many do I want them? Um, I don't. Ha I don't sell very many supplies. Um, usually, what I put in my shop. This ribbon that I've got that I buy in bulk so I can get a better cost for my design. But, um, I do have a few supplies, but it's usually just overruns. It's I don't know what it is. Um, I think I'm trying to think. I got some supplies over at boxmybow.com. Um, that's really about the only thing I bought, other than other than some ribbon. This slide, but you know what? I want the purple with this purple mesh. I don't think so. Let's go with the green. Cut this down a little bit. I like that right there. So let's. Oh, my ball, ball fell off. So I'm just going to put a little dab of glue right here on the end. We're going to glue that back on. All right, now I've got all these left over. Am I going to add a bow? I don't think so. I had, I got ribbon, but I don't think I'm going to add a bow. Hey, Sandy. Thank you. Thank you. Mardi Gras is. Momo, pronounce Momo. All right, so let's put, let's put this up here. I'm going to take a little bit longer, though. I might even have to get an, 
get into another one of these picks sprays. Yeah. Put one over here. That one though, I didn't think about that being with the, with the flower. So I'm not going to do that. either. Let's see. What are we going to do here? Yeah, I do like that. Got it coming out at the end. I do like that. So like that. This will be on this end. And I'm trying to avoid, you know, trying to keep my green away from the green or pull away from the purple. Like that. Okay, so that's what we've got so far. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, that's one of my favorites. That's uh, Love and Glitter saying she likes the Mardi Gras. I love it. Thank you. Appreciate that. Mardi Gras always sells so well. I always feel like I'm moving it. Start on it quicker. Sooner, and I, here I am, still trying to catch up. I think I got it. My shop. There's a few of these on the side, so I will have to open up another pick or another spray. Side. And do this backwards is hard. <laughs> there we go. That's fine.
Okay, so I just added those along the side there. Okay, need two more. I knocked off another one of these balls. Goodness. I'm just going to glue it back on like we did before. Ouch. Trying to keep my hand out of the glue. Just dip my thumb or my pinky right into that glue. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do the same thing over here on the back side as we did on the front side there. Okay. And the last one here. Got a big piece of the pine showing through over here. I might need to add another ruffle that I'm going to wait until I get this pick in. Or should I? I think I can. I was just wanting to make sure I didn't mess up where I couldn't get the mesh in, but I think I can. And I probably have the same thing over there. I'll have to look. Okay, so that's what we've got so far. Now, I need to put a little, what I was talking about, I got a lot of pine showing right there. Let me see if I got in it. And probably diagonal over here, I need to stick some also. So let's a little bit of mesh. So I just covered that up right there. We'll do the same thing over on this side. On okay, this side, we need purple. Okay, so we covered up that side over there too. Pretty much, it's not completely, but we're gonna keep on working. I gotta keep an eye on the clock though. We've got a date with our grand, grandchild, our grandson and a granddaughter. Eye on the clock. Okay, I've got this, um, 
I want you to call it this little tinsel pick here. I got two of them. And I've got some gold fern also. I definitely need that. Just looking at this, see how it comes apart or if it comes apart. I'm going to add the gold uh, fern first to kind of lighten it up just a little bit, and then we'll decide on that tinsel. It has some gold beads with it too. Gold berries, I should say. I'm just going to go around and start just kind of sprinkling this over the top, of, especially where I see some more of the uh, green. Evergreen, I'm talking about. I went over here, so I'm going to be sure to come back over here on this side. I want to kind of highlight this, I mean, Santa or uh, Magdalene, that'd be pretty like that. So it's just so dark that it's hard to really get to appreciate it. That'll help. I'll highlight that a little bit. I'm going to turn it around here so I can see what I'm doing. those two pieces and then I'm going to put a piece underneath of it also. There we go. Now that's going to showcase that uh, magnolia a little better. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, Vanita. That's what Love and Glenn was just talking about that. The Marty Girl. Thank you. I feel like this. Hmm. 
to bring this magnolia on this side out just a little bit. Now, get some more fern. I didn't realize I grabbed two different kinds of fern. I'm going to do the same thing to the magnolia over on this side, you know, surround it with the gold fern so that it'll highlight it a little bit. I think I need to pull my gold there. I'll turn it around and show you after I get this last piece on there. Same thing over on this side. Yes. I'm just going to work on putting some of it out here in the fruit tray. Not a lot, but it needs some. I've got these beads too. I probably need to add some of those too for a different texture. I keep calling them beads, but they're probably berries. Just drug some glue across my mesh. I'm going to try and get it off of there. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to have to redo this. Oh, no, it's coming off. As long as you, usually as long as you get it early, you can usually take it off. What you don't want to do is, you know, come back and, you know, later, and then you see it. But you take it off pretty quickly. But I just drug that across that and right across my band-aid. <laughs> so I lost part of my band-aid. Okay. 
All right, good as new. And I'm just going to use up what I've got left off of those. I should have another one of these somewhere. Right there. Oh, just got the number one glitter badge or gifter badge. Thank you, Linda. Thank you. Got an ice cream cone. I don't know what all those things mean, but thank you. I know it's a good thing. Appreciate it. Really appreciate it. All right. I'm going to put a couple of these on this side and then I'll show you. So I need to do it to the other side also. Okay, so I just put a couple of them down low. Right there and right there. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Here it is. I think we're getting pretty close to being done, though. Um, yeah. We had talked about maybe putting some ribbon in, but I don't know that you need it. I brought some, but I think I can use it. enough glue on it. I put that up too close. I want to put it, bring that back just a little bit. Okay. So I just did the same thing on this side. I put one here and then one right over here. So, all right, let's see. I'm going to put, I've got a, just a little bit of pine showing right here at the candle. Um, you guys probably can't see it. It's right there. I'm going to put just a little bit more fern. I've got a couple more leftovers here. I'm going to use those to hide that. I'm going to use what I've got here rather than open and, you know, new something.
I think we're done. Let me check the other side here, but I think we're done. Got a little bit of I'm just going to dip a little fern over here. And you don't have to completely hide the evergreen. I just, you know, if it was if it was a better quality, I wouldn't worry about it so much. But um, you know, it's, it's not a great uh, artificial. So that's why you're kind of hiding it a little bit. There we go. All right, I think we're done. That's what it looks like from the top. I'm hanging on to that candle. I don't know if it's going to stay or not. But. Yeah, well, there's those looks like those magnolias. Aren't they pretty? They look really good on camera. Okay. All right. Well, that's all I have for you today. I really appreciate you being here and hanging out with me. Um, I What is today? Today's Wednesday. So I'm going to try and go live again Friday. Just to be right now, all things go. Get ready for Christmas and such. But, um, hopefully I'll find some time I can do that. So all right. Anybody have any last minute questions? Thank you, Sandy. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Love and Glitter and Designer DIY. I like that name. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Okay. All right. You guys have a great rest of your day. And I don't see you again before the holiday. Merry Christmas to you. I hope you have a wonderful holiday. And most importantly, stay safe. Okay. Great. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.